So today, uh, we're going to go over online library resources. The agenda for today would be, I'm going to go over what you need to get started, uh, the various available resources from SFPL, such as Gale Courses, Udemy, LinkedIn Learning, Treehouse, Libby, and Canopy, and how to access these resources. I know the library does have like a lot of resources and we might not have enough time to cover all of them, but I will try to cover these on the list right here. So what do you need? So you do need a San Francisco Public Library card to access our e-resources, and you do need your PIN number as well too. If you are a San Francisco resident, you can sign up for a library card at the following site, sflib1.sfpl.org slash selfreg. I, I know it, it's a long kind of link, but the easiest way would be to go to our main website, which is sfpl period org, and you would look for the link that says support and services, and you will click on get a library card. Or you could call our number at 415-557. 4400 for more information. And you will need an email address to access some of our e-resources as well too. For the specific platform of Udemy, you would need a Gmail account or a Microsoft account. And of course you would need a desktop, laptop, smartphone, or tablet to access some of these e-resources. So how would you access uh, our e-resources? So some of them you can access through our e-learning uh, website at the following link. So it is sfpl.org slash e-learning. And this, you will get to like Gale Courses, Udemy, LinkedIn Learning, and Treehouse. And you will log in with your library card and PIN number. And some platforms may require some kind of registration for the first time. So they might ask you for your name and your email address. So on the bottom of your screen on the left side, I kind of have like a screenshot about uh, what it looks like on our e-learning page. So if you get to the e-learning page, it should look something similar to this. And in the middle of your screen, um, I have screenshots about like the short descriptions about each uh, platform. So the example here would be kind of LinkedIn Learning. There should be like a little description about what the platform is. On the bottom is a screenshot of the uh, Udemy platform, and there should be like a short a description as well too. And if you're logging in from outside the library, uh, the first thing after you click on any of these platforms is it will ask you to kind of enter your library card number and your PIN number, which is the third screenshot on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen right now. So you enter in your library card number and you enter in your PIN number. If you have any issues with your PIN number, you can always give us a call at 415-557-4400 and someone will be able to help you with your PIN number. And we're gonna go over a couple of uh, our e-media resources as well too. And you can access those at sfpl.org slash books and media but I'll show you how to get to without this link as well too. And once you're on that page, you will look for Libby and Canopy and you will log in with your library card and PIN number. And like I mentioned earlier, you may have to register before you are able to log into the platform. And on the bottom left-hand side right here on the screen, I have a screenshot of Canopy Movies and the Overdrive platform, which is uh, the same as the Libby platform. And in the middle, LinkedIn Learning, Udemy, and on the far right-hand side, you will have to log in with your library card as well too. So some of these platforms that I'm gonna go over today, you can access through your phone or tablet. If you wanna access some of these on your Android device, you will go to the Google Play Store and you will look for the app there and you will download it to your device and then you can log into your account. If you wanna access some of these platforms on your iPhone or iPad, you will have to go to the Apple App Store and you would search for the appropriate app and you would download it to your device. So what's available? So not uh, all of our platforms have an app for your device. So right now there is an app for Udemy, there's an app for Canopy, and there's an app for Libby. And the other platforms, they do not have app yet. So today I'm gonna go over how to access these e-resources through our web portal. So I'm gonna go to sfpl.org and I'm gonna start there. Okay, so on your screen right now, you should be seeing uh, the main website to San Francisco Public Library. This is the main uh, website, so sfpo.org. And to get to some of these um, resources, there are a couple of ways. I mentioned there are the direct links before, but then if you don't want to type in the link in your address bar, you can always navigate from our main website as well too. So the first thing you should look for is research and learn, which is right here in the middle of your screen near top. It kind of looks like a paper with like a magnifying glass. So you would click on this and kind of this uh, menu should kind of pop up 
So it will give you more options. So you will look for the e-learning option right here. It's kind of indicated by like a person with a light bulb in their head. So you would click on this and it will bring you to our e-learning page. So some of the resources that I'm gonna go over, they will live here. So you access them through here. So the first resource I'm gonna go over is Gale Courses. So if you scroll down, you can see Gale Courses right here. And if you kind of want more help or kind of like general questions and answers, you will look, look here on your screen, it says Gale Courses FAQ. I'm gonna briefly click on this and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So it will kind of give you like an introduction about what you need, what courses are available, how many courses you can take, and some kind of, some questions that you might ask, and how would you get started? So I'm gonna go back, and you will access that page through here, Gale Courses FAQ. So right now, I'm gonna go directly onto the Gale Course platform. So I'm gonna click on the Gale Course link right here on your screen in the middle of the page. So once you click on it, you should get to this page right here. So you're not signed into your account yet, and it's kind of indicated by the top right-hand corner of your screen, it says sign in. You will of course need to have an account. And once you decide on signing up for a class, then you will sign up for an account. So this platform offers a lot of kind of non-credit classes that might be of interest to you if you want to improve like certain skills. So on the left-hand side of your screen right now, you should be seeing like a list of kind of the available topics. So I'm going to start with accounting and finance. There's business, college readiness, design and composition. There is a lot. So there's uh, classes on personal development, teaching, education, technology, writing, and publishing. So there are a couple of ways for you to kind of look for a class. So you could start here in the middle of your screen near the top. It says search for courses. And there is an address uh, like, a, like a bar right here where you could enter in like your search topic. So let's say you want to search for Microsoft Word. And you after you enter it in, you hit the little magnifying glass on the right hand side. And it should give you the results of your search. So right here, you see Introduction to Microsoft Word 2010, 2013, 2019. So that's one way of kind of looking for certain classes that you might want to take. Or you can kind of browse through the, the options right here on the left-hand side. So I could go to, say, Technology right here. I'll click on that. And it should bring me to these options right here. So there are Web Technology Security, Computer Program, Computer Fundamentals. I'll click on Computer Fundamentals. So once I click on that, it will give me the list of all the classes that are under this category. So you can browse through the list and you can see which one you're interested in. So for example, you might be interested in, let's say, Introduction to Microsoft Excel or Intermediate Microsoft Excel 2013. So if you're interested, you have a couple of options. You can hit Enroll Now right here on the screen, or you could click on the title of the class and you can see more details about the class. So I'll click on this link right here, Intermediate Microsoft Excel 2013. And it's gonna bring me to the class page, which is right here. So if I scroll down, you can see more details about the class. So right now by default, it's gonna start with details right here. And it's gonna give you like a short description about what the class is about. And if you look uh, further down on the page, it'll give you like a brief summary about the instructor and why is he teaching this class or what is his background. And let's say you are interested in the class and you want to see more about the class, like what are they going to go over? You will look for the second link right here near the middle top part of your screen. It should say syllabus and you will click on that. So once you click on that and you scroll down, you can see like what's going to be taught during the session of this class. So it will go by week one, week two, week three. And like week one, you have lesson one, lesson two. So on Wednesday, on Friday, and it'll give you like a short description about what you're going to work on. And these classes are about six weeks. So you can see more details about the class on the right hand side of your screen right here under details. So it's going to take you 24 hours throughout the six weeks. It's going to be six weeks and there is a start date. So uh, right now the next start date would be let's see June 16th. So the May 12th start date has passed. So you can always sign up for like a future date. And like I mentioned, these are kind of like non-credit classes. So you could kind of take these for like to improve like your skills. 
And there's going to be a, an instructor as well too. And there's going to be like weekly assignments. So once you enroll and you log into your account, you can see all the materials. Okay, and that's how you would kind of see the details about like a certain class. If you don't like this class, you will always go back to home. You can look for the home button right here on the top left hand side of your screen. You will click on that and it, you bring back to the home page. And you could kind of search for a class right here in the middle, or you could browse through the categories on the left hand side. And that is how you access Gale courses. So I'm gonna move on to the next uh, topic. So I'm gonna go back to the home page. So I'm gonna go to San Francisco Public Library, the main uh, web page right here. And I'm gonna go to research and learn right here in the middle of your screen. And it kind of looks like a paper with like a magnifying glass. And I'll click on that. And I'm gonna go back to the e-learning section right here on the left-hand side. So I'm gonna go back to the page that I went over earlier. So I'm gonna go back to e-learning and it's gonna bring me back to the e-learning page. So I went over uh, kind of uh, Gale courses um, earlier. So I'm gonna move on to the next platform and it's gonna be on the same page right here. So all I have to do is I'm gonna scroll down. And I'm gonna go over the Udemy platform, which is right here. It's indicated by kind of like a reddish U and it says Udemy right here. And it will give you like a short description about what this platform is about. So they provide like e-learning platform that offers a kind of 4,000 high quality on-demand video courses. And there is FAQ here as well too. So if you have any questions or if you wanna see how to get started, you will go here, it says start here. And it says Udemy FAQ. And it will give you kind of more details about how to get, to get started. So I'm going to click on it and, and let you see what it looks like. So once you click on it, you should get to our FAQ page right here. It's like, what is Udemy and how to get started? So you would need your library card, your PIN number. And like I mentioned earlier, you would have to have a Google account or a Microsoft email address to access the Udemy platform. So once you enter in your library card and your PIN number, they will ask you for your Google or Microsoft account. And that's how they kind of create an account for you within the Udemy platform. And there's more details right here as well too. It, it kind of shows you how to access the platform like I went over earlier, our website, research and learn and e-learning. And you will click on the Udemy link right here. And you enter in your library card number right here and your pin number right here. And like I mentioned earlier, they're gonna ask you to sign in or create your Udemy account. And you would have to have a, a Google account or a Microsoft account. And if you don't have one, you can always sign up for like a Gmail account or, or like a Microsoft account, like a Hotmail account. And there's more information here as well too. And like I mentioned earlier, uh, Udemy is one of the platforms where you could download the app onto your smartphone or tablet. So you have to go to like, like the Google Play Store if you have like an Android device, or if you have like iPhone or iPad, you would go to the Apple App Store and you will look for the Udemy app. So there are two Udemy apps. So you will have to look for the Udemy for Business app. The reason for this is since you are accessing the Udemy platform through the library and you're not paying like the monthly subscription, you are it's kind of like a, a different platform like, like for the business app. So if you're paying for this, you will lo locate the regular Udemy app. But for now, if you're using Udemy through the library, you look for the Udemy for Business app. And there's more information here as well too. So you download it, you enter in your organization name. So since you're using it through the library, it's gonna be, um, the name will be Gale. So Gale is the provider or the or organization. And there's like an image right here. So, so don't worry about it. So if you, you wanna download this later on, you can always refer back to this page and it'll give you like all the details about how to download it and access the platform. And after that, once you enter in Gale, you will find your institution. So you're accessing this through the San Francisco Public Library. So you would look for the public library option right here. You will select it with your, your option and you type in San Francisco Public Library, you hit search. And after that, it will find our library. Then you would have to enter in your library card and pin number again. 
which is right here on your screen on the left-hand side, your barcode, which is your library card number, and your PIN number, which is right here. And after that, you would create your account and you will sign in and you would have access to the Udemy platform. And I'm gonna go over how to access that right now. So I'm gonna go back. So I'm back to the e-learning page, which is right here. And I'm gonna hit um, the Udemy option, which is right here in the middle of the page. I'll click on that. And it's gonna bring me to the Udemy page. So this is how you would see it if you're accessing the platform through like your browser on your laptop or desktop. And if you scroll down, you can see like a short description about what's offered, 6,000 online video courses, up-to-date courses. And like I mentioned earlier, you would need to have a Google or Microsoft account. And you can sign up for one here if you don't have one on your screen right here. But if you do have one, you would have to click on sign in, create my Udemy account, which is right here in the middle of your page. It's kind of like an orange, orange color-ish. So you would click on that and this should pop up on your screen. And you should see sign in with Google or sign in with Microsoft. So I'm gonna choose the first option. So it really is it, up to you, like what kind of account you have. You might have a Google account or if you have like a Microsoft account. For the example today, I'm gonna to use my Google account. So I'll click on this, sign in with Google. And usually it's gonna ask you for your, like um, the Google login information and your password. So I'm already logged in. So it's gonna directly bring me to this page, which is right here, the main the Udemy page. So if it's your first time, they're gonna ask you uh, what kind of topics are you interested in? So they'll give you like a list and you will select like uh, at least like three topics. And then once you select that and you hit like submit, they're kind of gonna kind of look through their courses and they're gonna kind of recommend certain courses that they think might be helpful to you. So uh, since I'm here, uh, you can click on here, get started, kind of customize your course recommendations. So like I mentioned earlier, or you could kind of do like a, like a broad search about the various uh, topics. So you would go to the top of your page in the middle and you have the search for anything option right here in the middle of the page. You use your mouse, you will click anywhere inside and you can search for a topic. So let's say I want to learn uh, the example I used before like Microsoft Excel. So I'll type in Microsoft Excel. And once I'm typing it in, notice that on the bottom it's kind of gonna kind of give you like uh, recommendations like Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Excel 2016. So you could click on any of these or you just click on the first one, Microsoft Excel, and it's gonna search the, the platform and see what's available. So once you do your search, you should get your search results page, which is right here. So for this topic, I have 1,696 results for Microsoft Excel. And if you use your mouse and you scroll down, these are all the available options. And if you look on the left-hand side of your page, which is right here, I'm pointing to it with my mouse. These are kind of like the options where you can kind of select and you can kind of narrow down your search. So if I click on show more, these are more options. So I'm interested in, let's say Microsoft Excel. So right here, I'll check on the checkbox right here. And it's gonna bring down my results. So I had about a thousand plus results earlier. So now I have about 126 results, which is um, dramatically smaller. So you, it, it gives you kind of like a better sense of what's available and you don't have to look through all that's available. And if I want more like customization, I will scroll down. I will look for the left-hand side again. I look for the level option, which is right here on the left-hand side of your screen. And let's say I don't know much about Excel and I want to start from the beginning. So I'll look for beginner, which is right here. I'll click on this with my mouse and it's going to narrow down my results down to 23. So if you have more uh, options right here, language, features. So you, you can look through these and you could kind of choose the options that you would like and it could narrow down your search. So for example, I'm, I might want to learn about Microsoft Excel 2013 and 16 for beginners. So I will click on this right here, like anywhere within this area. And it's going to bring me to the page of the class. So right here, it's gonna bring me to the main page of the class. And if you scroll down, it'll give you more information about the class. 
So right here, it'll give you like a short a description about what you'll learn. So like uh, discover new and improved features, learn how to personalize your Excel options, complete data entry. So you can see like if this uh, course is, is of interest to you or not, and you can see it through here. And on the right-hand side of your screen, uh, you should see this option right here, preview this course. So you might be interested, but you might be on the fence about should, should I kind of view this course? So you can kind of click on here in the middle with the play button and you can kind of preview the course. And if you decide that you want to do this course, you hit enroll now, it's right here, and you'll be enrolled in this course and you can watch all the videos within this course. And they are on demand, so you don't have to watch it all at once. You can watch it right now, you can pause it, you can come back to it later in the future. And on the bottom of enroll now, you should see like a short a description about how long is uh, the course. So it should take you about 21 hours of on-demand video for this course. And they provide like three articles. There are like a couple of resources as well too. And you can access this on your mobile device and you do get a certificate of completion at the very end of this course. So if you scroll down, you see more information. There should be like requirements and a more description and the course content, which is right here. You can see like all the topics, exercise files. So it will give you more details about the course. And if you scroll down more, it will give you more information about the instructor and their background, like uh, what have they done and why are they teaching this class? And if you, you scroll down, there is a section called student feedback. So uh, people that have taken this class before, they could write a review saying this is good or, or this is bad. And you can kind of view through this and it can kind of help you de uh, determine if you want to take this or not. So from like a brief uh, view of this course, there are a lot of like um, four stars or five stars. So it might be a good course to take. So that's how you would kind of look for a course within the Udemy platform and how you enroll and how would you kind of see more details about the course. So I'm going to go back to the main page of Udemy. So I will go to the top left-hand corner of the screen right here. I'll look for this kind of icon right here. It says Udemy and there's like a red, reddish U icon. I'll click on that. And it's gonna bring me back to the main page. So for instance, let's say I don't know what I wanna search for and I wanna just view the available categories. So if you look near the top right here, this line right here, it's kind of like the various topics that are are available. So cloud computing, data science, IT operations, marketing, or you could go to the categories option, which is right here near the top left-hand corner of your screen. And you could click on that. And it should kind of give you this list right here. So you can kind of browse through the various uh, subjects and topics here as well too. So cloud computing, data science, design. So you could see which one is of interest to you. And you could go into more detail right here. So let's say accounting, Accounting softwares. So let's see, accounting softwares. I'll click on that. And it's going to give me all the courses that are kind of related to accounting softwares. And you will click on any of these and you see like a description. And if you are interested, you just hit on enroll now and you will be able to access all the video courses. So that's how you access the Udemy platform. So I'm going to move on to the next topic or the next platform. I'm gonna go back to our main page. So San Francisco Public Library, the main page, I'm gonna to go to research and learn, which is right here. I'm gonna go back to e-learning, which is near the middle of the page right here. And I'm gonna be back at the e-learning page. So I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna look for the next resource. So the next resource I'm gonna go over is LinkedIn Learning. So if, you have used lynda.com before. This is gonna be very similar because LinkedIn Learning is in a sense, uh, lynda.com. They were bought by LinkedIn and they were kind of converted. So the logo might look a little bit different, but some of the content might look about the same. So I will click on the LinkedIn Learning right here. Link right here. It's gonna bring me to this page right here. So your library invites you to LinkedIn Learning. And if you've used uh, lynda.com before, and the login kind of looks a little bit different now. So you have to click on get started, which is right here. And after that, it's gonna ask you for your library card and pin number. 
So you enter your library card right here on the left-hand side of your screen. So give me a second, I'll look for my library card. And I'm gonna enter in my PIN number. And after that, I'm gonna hit continue, which is right here on the bottom left-hand side of your screen. So if it's your first time logging into LinkedIn Learning, they might ask you some questions. So since I've already logged in before, they're not gonna ask. So they might ask you like your email address, your first name or last name. So if you enter in that and in the future you log in, they will not ask you again. So right now you should be seeing the main page of LinkedIn Learning. So there are a, a lot of things going on right now. So the first thing you should look for is the search box, which is right here near the top left-hand corner of your screen. So you'll type in any topic that you wanna look for. So I'm, I'm gonna stick to the same topic that I used before. So Microsoft Excel, and we hit search. And it's gonna bring me to the results page, which is right here. So there is 7,354 results for Microsoft Excel. So you can look through these and see which one is of interest to you or not. And this is gonna be very similar to like the Udemy platform. So on the left-hand side, you can see like uh, these options for you to customize your results. So you can narrow down the results. So let's say I want, let's say, I'll select level, I'll select beginner, which is right here. And I'll scroll back up. It's gonna bring me uh, down to 2,262 results. And I will, Scroll down, I'll look for subjects and topics, which is right here on the left-hand side. And let's say I want a business. So I'll click here and it's gonna narrow down the results. So you would do this if you wanna customize your results. You will look through all of these options on the left-hand side. You would just click on the name of it and it should expand the options. And if it's already expanded, you wanna unexpand it, you click on it again. It's gonna uh, unexpand. So. So right now on your screen, these are the results. So let's say I wanna learn, let's say Excel 2016. So I will click on the link right here in the middle of the page. I'll click on that. So it might automatically play the tutorial. So you can hit on pause, which is right here. So pretty much this is the main page of the course that you have just selected. And on the left-hand side, you see all the topics. So usually it's the introduction first and it will give you like more details about the course. And if you look through the list right here, it will give you all the topics. So these are all the topics that are associated with this course. So for example, you might already know some of these topics, but you might not know certain topics. So you do not have to watch all of them. So you could just skip through certain sections that you might think that you don't wanna watch. So for example, I might know how to use adding formulas and functions. So I might wanna move on to understanding cell references when copying and pasting. So all, all I have to do is click on it with my mouse and it's gonna play this section right here. And on the bottom of the topic name, it will give you like a time period about how long is this gonna take? So this section right here is gonna be two minutes and 10 seconds, or right here it says five minutes and 26 seconds. So this kind of gives you an idea about how long it's gonna take you or do you, do you wanna watch this section or not? And you scroll down and these are all the topics. And for certain uh, courses that you might wanna watch, there might have, or there might be sections where they give you like chapter quizzes. So they wanna see like, are you paying attention? Or do you know this stuff? Or if you don't pass the quiz, you can always go back and rewatch the section again. So right here, there's a chapter quiz for this chapter right here. So that's how you would kind of browse through all the various topics. And usually it is, the, the video should be playing in the middle, but if you use your mouse on the right-hand side and you scroll down, you should see more details. So it will give you like a course description right here, uh, like what's this course about, when was this released, and how long it's gonna take you. So this is gonna take you one hour and 10 minutes to complete everything. So if you scroll a little bit up, you see the details about the author, and you see like what's related to this course. So certain courses, there might be exercise files. So you might be learning about like a concept and they'll provide you with exercise files so you can follow along and you can kind of practice the skills that you are learning as well too. 
And if you complete all of the required like sections, you will get a certificate as well too. And there should be like exam section as well too. And it's kind of indicated on the right-hand side of your screen. And it should be, let's see, give me a second. It should be under like related to this course, which is right here. And if you scroll down, you can see more details about the course. So like um, the instructor, and if you scroll all the way down, and usually LinkedIn Learning, they will kind of group the courses kind of together. So if you've completed one course and you might want to complete like a different course, they might give you like suggestions about, let's say you're interested in this, you might be interested in this as well too, which is right here, related courses. So you can see all of this and you can see, oh, or maybe I want to learn Microsoft PowerPoint. So you will click on this link right here in the middle and it will bring you to the uh, learning PowerPoint 2016 course and you can start that as well too. While we're on here, uh, on the left-hand side of your screen, you should see kind of this icon right here. It kind of looks like a, kind of like a rectangle-ish kind of paper, paper mark icon. So for example, let's say you are really interested in this topic right here and you want to bookmark it. So you will click on this right here. It, it kind of bookmarked the, the section. So you could kind of have like a visual look and see, oh, I'm more interested in this. And you can refer back to it in the future as well too. So that's how you would kind of search for a course within LinkedIn Learning. But let me go back to the main page. I'm gonna go to the top left-hand corner of the screen right here, LinkedIn Learning. I'll click on that. It's gonna bring me back to the main page right here. And if you've already started like a course, you should see the in progress section on the right hand side of your screen right here. So I have started Google Slides Essential Training right here. I've started Google Drive Essential Training right here, and it's gonna show as in progress. Or if you saved any of the courses, you can click on saved right here. And you can go back to these saved courses here as well too. So I'm gonna go back to in progress. I'm gonna scroll back up. So we've looked at how you would search for like a specific topic. Well, let's say you don't want you don't know like what topic you want to search for. So you go to browse, which is right here, your top left hand corner of your screen. You'll click on that. And it's going to give me give you all the topics right here about what's available within this platform. Training, education, e-learning software, the small business, sales. So there's a lot of tutorials here. And you could kind of click through them and you can browse through what's available. So on the right-hand side of your screen, near the top, you have the home button right here. You have My Learning, which is right here. It's kind of indicated by like a book. So I'm going to click on that. So once you click on that, it will show you like all the in-progress courses. So I've started about 20. I've saved two. I have a collection right here. And it will show you like the learning history. So if you've completed any of these courses, you click on learning history right here. And it will show you when have you completed this course. So completed 5-4, 2021. And you can see like, what have you done in the past? And since you've done these courses, there are certain skills that are kind of associated with these courses. You will click on the skills option right here near the top right hand corner, it, kind of in the middle. And it will show you like skills you're interested in, video production, photography, customer service. And if you want to see more details about yourself, you go to the top right hand corner of the page. You look for the me option right here. And if you would click on that, it will show you all these options. So my learning in progress, save, collections, learning history, skills, language, settings. And if you need help, you have the help center right here. And if you're done with uh, LinkedIn Learning or you want to sign out, this is where you would sign out. So you would go to the top right-hand corner of your page. You look for the me option right here. You will click on that. And you hit sign out, which is right here. So I'm going to hit sign out. And that's how you would sign up of the LinkedIn learning platform. So I'm gonna move on to the next uh, platform right now. So I'm gonna go back to the main page right here. So sfpo.org, I'm gonna go back to research and learn, and I'm gonna go to e-learning, which is right here. So I'm back to the page right here. I'm gonna scroll down. And I am gonna go over the Treehouse platform, which is right here. So it's indicated by a kind of like a greenish icon with like a, like a frog icon-ish thing. So Trias right here. So if you've never logged into Trias before, you should click on start here, which is kind of in the middle of the page, Treehouse FAQ. So Treehouse is kind of like a platform where you will kind of learn 
how to like code certain technology kind of related skills, how to create like a website, how to create like a mobile app or coding languages. So I'm gonna click on start here, Trials FAQ. I'll click here and it's gonna bring me to this page right here. So what is the Trials account and how do I get an account? So you could see the details about this. And if you scroll down about the subscription, so if you have one in the past, you might still have it, but it, it does expire. But if you don't have one yet, you can sign up for one here. So if you read all through this and you agree, you will click on yes, I've read and process uh, the registration So here. So you would have to sign up for a Treehouse account. And this is not uh, instant. So you, if you sign up right now, you might not get a response like right now. So give it some time. So you enter in your library card number and then your first name, last name, and your email address, and you hit submit. It might take a couple of days. It might take some, some time. So give it some time. It's not instant. So once you have registered um, your account already here, you could log into the Trios platform. So all you have to do is you could go to the, their main website. So I'm just gonna do a basic Google search, Treehouse. So their address is um, like teamtreehouse.com. So I'll click on the first link right here. You get to the main page and it's gonna ask you for your login information. So I'm already logged in. So this is what you will see once you have logged into the platform. So I have not done any of the courses here yet. So you, I could go to browse the library, which is right here in the middle of the page. I'll click on that. So it's gonna say, welcome to the library. And if you scroll down, you can see all these kind of recommended courses. So like introduction to HTML, computer basics, takeaways, there's a lot of topics here. And you will click on any of these if you are interested in these topics. So let's say I'm interested in computer basics, which is right here. So you can kind of get a sense of how long it's gonna take you. It says 55 minutes and you could click on start right here in the middle of the page. So once you click, click start, it's gonna start the videos. And if you scroll down, it's gonna give you like a short description about what the topic is. And if you scroll down more, you see teacher's notes, questions, video transcripts, downloads. So that's how, how you kind of look for a topic within Treehouse and you kind of start like a, like a track. I'll go back. I'll hit the home button, which is right here near the top left-hand corner of the screen. And it's gonna bring me back to here. And you can always go back to the library option right here near the top left-hand corner of the screen right here, hit library. It's gonna bring you back to this page right here. So let's say if you're learning about HTML or any of like the coding languages, so you don't have to worry about having the software installed on your computer because whatever you're learning within this platform, there's gonna be like a workspace within this platform. So you don't have to download the very specific uh, software. You'll be working within this platform. Okay, so that's how you would kind of access uh, your, the Trios platform. So I'm gonna go back. So we have two more platforms to go over. So I'm gonna go back to the main page right here, sfpo.org. Then I'm gonna go to books and media, which is right here near the top left-hand corner of the screen. I'll click on that. I'll click on see all, which is near the bottom left-hand corner right here. So the next app I'm gonna go over is the Libby app, which is kind of like the ebook, e-audio book app that you would access if you wanna read like ebooks or listen to e-audio books. So I'm gonna scroll down on the page right here. I'll go to the e-library section, which is right here, indicated on the left-hand side. And I'll click on the e-audiobook option right here on the left-hand side. So it's gonna bring me to the e-audiobooks page right here. So we do have a lot of platforms, Hoopla, Overdrive Libby, Access 360. But for today, I'm gonna to go over the Overdrive slash Libby audiobooks right here on the page right here. So if you need more help, you can look for the start here option right here, Overdrive Audiobook FAQ. You will click on this link right here. And it's gonna bring you to the, this page right here. So you can get started. It will give you like a description about how to get started and instructions and what is Libby and how to check out your title. So everything's kind of documented here. So you can follow the instructions right here.
And if you have a Kindle, you can read your books on your Kindle as well too. So I'm gonna go back and you access that site through here. Start here, Overdrive Audiobook FAQ. So I'm gonna hit on the Overdrive link right here. And it's gonna bring me to the Overdrive platform on uh, your device. So I'm accessing this through my computer. So it's gonna look like this, but if you have like an app on your smartphone or tablet, it might look a little bit different, but all the concepts are kind of the same. So once you log into your account, uh, they're gonna ask you, uh, what's your library card number and what library are you associated with? So you would search for San Francisco Public Library. You enter in that with your keyboard. And once you enter in that, there should be a list and you will select San Francisco Public Library. Then after that, you will enter in your library card number. So once you enter that in and it is accepted, you should be on the platform and you can browse through all of these eBooks and e-audiobooks. So for Libby, you get to check out an item for 21 days and you get to check out 25 items at a time for a month. So once you're on here, you could look for the options right here, subjects on the left-hand side, collections, Kindle books, kids, um, and there's uh, like foreign language items that's here as well too. And if you look right here, there should be like a most popular section near the top of your page. Once you log in, it'll give you like all the books that uh, they think that are uh, popular and you could uh, browse through these as well too. So, when you're looking through this and you see something that is of interest to you, you should pay attention to what's above kind of like the, like the book cover. So right here on the screen, I'm pointing to it with my mouse. This book, it is available. So it's indicated right here, available. But if you look on the right-hand side of this book right here, it says waitlist. So the library does have like a limited subscription to certain items. So you might have to be on the waitlist for that item to be able to kind of read it or listen to it in the future. So it's, it's basically kind of like, like a physical book, but and there is a wait list. And if you look on the bottom right here, there's the name of the item and there's the indication about what kind of item this is. So audiobook right here, audiobook. So these are all like audiobooks. So you could kind of do a search and you could customize your search and see for eBooks instead of audiobooks. So I will go to the top right-hand corner of the screen right here, and I'll click on the search option right here. And I'm just gonna enter in like a topic. So I'm gonna enter in, let's say cars. And I will we'll see all these like kind of suggestions on the bottom. I'm just gonna hit enter. And it's gonna look for items that are related to cars. So like I mentioned earlier, it says available right here. You could like check it out right here. But if this is waitlist, you might have to wait a certain period of time. So, for example, I might be interested in this uh, item right here. It is available, indicated right here, and it, it is an ebook, which is indicated right here. So, I'm going to click on this, and it's going to bring me to the page of the item, and it's going to give me the title, what kind of item it is, and there's this option right here. So, you hit borrow. So if you're interested, you hit borrow right here and it's gonna be checked out to your account. And if you are curious about how many copies does the library have on this platform, it says right here, one of one copy. So the library might have more copies, the library might have 200, they have, might have like 50. So it really depends on the item. And if you're interested in, to see like what the book or the item is about, you scroll down, you see like a short description, you click on the details option right here, you can read reviews of this as well too. So let's say I want this book. So I'm gonna hit borrow. So on your screen, it should show you like, uh, do you really wanna borrow this item? And in the middle of the screen right here, it says borrow for, and there's this option of, it says 21 days. And there's this kind of half triangle right here. You could cl click on it. So the longest you could borrow, it is 21 days. But for example, if you think that you could finish it in 14 days or seven days, then you could change it right here. So let's say I want uh, seven days. So I'm borrowing this item for seven days and after seven days, it's gonna automatically return and the next person could borrow this item as well. So I'm gonna hit borrow. Okay, so now I have borrowed this item right here. So you have a couple of options right here. So if you have a Kindle, you can select on read now within the Kindle or 
you could read it in your browser, which is the option right here in the middle, or you could download this to your device. And it's gonna be like the format of the EPUB book. So if you download this, you might have to download more software onto your device to view this item. So right now I'm gonna select read in browser right here. So right now on your screen, I've selected read in browser and this is what I'm seeing. So this is the actual book and I'm using my mouse. I'm gonna move through the book right here. So contents, so you can read the book within your browser. And if you are accessing this on your smartphone or tablet, then you will kind of have like a similar view on there as well too. But you wouldn't have a mouse, you would just use your finger and you just slide from left to right on your screen to move from page to page. Okay, so that's how you would kind of check out an item. So I'm gonna go back to the page right here. I'm gonna hit X. So right now you have checked out an item. So I'm gonna go to my account, which is on the far right hand corner of the page right here. And you have all these options, wish list, rated titles, history. So you could have like a history of all the items that you have checked out. Or if you select this option right here, it should look kind of like uh, three books. If you select that on the far right hand side of your screen, it should bring you the page where it'll give you like a list of all the items that you have checked out. So I've checked out this item right here, expires in seven days. And I've checked out this item in the past as well too, expires in 21 days. And you can read and browse here as well too. Okay, so that's how you would kind of access the Libby platform and you will look for kind of like an ebook or e-audio book. And if you don't know what book you want to look for, you'll click on the left-hand side right here in this link right here, the San Francisco Public Library. It's gonna bring you back to the main page and you kind of browse through all of these available items. So like just added, celebrating Black History Month, Asian American Pacific Heritage Month. So you can browse here as well too. So we have one more platform to go over. So I'm gonna go back to the main page, sfpo.org. And I'm gonna to go to research and learn, or actually books and media right here on the left-hand side of your screen. I'll click on that. I'll click on see all. And I'm gonna scroll down. And I'm going to go to streaming movies and TV. So I'm going to click on this right here on the left hand or on the right hand side. It's going to bring you to the e videos page right here. So we do have a couple of platforms. So today I'm going to go over Canopy Movies, which is right here in the middle of the page. And if you want more help on getting started, you will look for this link right here. Check out Canopy Movies FAQ. And you would click on that. It's going to bring you to the FAQ page. And it's going to give you more details about how to get started. So it's gonna be step-by-step -step instructions. Step one, step two, step three. So you follow all these instructions. So I'm gonna briefly go over what the canopy looks like. I'm gonna go back. So I'm back to the page right here. I'm gonna to go to canopy movies, which is right here. I'm gonna click on the link. It's gonna bring me to the canopy platform. So if it's your first time, it's gonna ask you to sign up for an account. So you would have to sign up for an account using your email and you choose a password. And usually they'll send you like a confirmation within your email and you have to click on that to confirm. And once you do that, you should have full access to this platform right here. And you do have 15 play credits a month. So what that means is you could play 15 video clips here within a month. And after a month, it's gonna reset and you'll get 15 credits again. So once you get to the main page, you can see like newly added movies, you can see newly added documentaries, you can kind of browse through the collection. But if you know what you want to look for, you would go to the top of the page right here, look for a search bar, and you type in like a, like a title that you want to look for. Or you could go to the browse option, which is right here, near the uh, top, kind of middle-ish of the page, and you hover your mouse over it. You browse through like movies, documentaries, business, education. So let's say I'm interested in, let's see, in this one right here. So I'll click on this. So the play option is right here. So be sure that you wanna play this video first because if you hit play, it's gonna to count towards your 15 play credits a month and it's gonna bring down the account right here, which is indicated on the top right-hand corner of your screen. And you hit play. And if you wanna know more about the video, you scroll down, you'll look for this section right here. It will give you like a short description, running time, when was this created? And that's how you will access the Canopy um, a platform.